Hello students, this is uh, Professor Marky Ray uh, updating you on the new normal. <laughs> I know this is weird, um, but uh, looks like we're going to be communicating like this for the next few classes, if not the next few weeks. But uh, the school gave us uh, instructions and said we needed to be creative, so uh, here you go. Uh, this is just more of a test for tonight. I'm kind of just uh, going to make a little quick video here. They asked us to not ramble on for longer than five minutes, so I will try to do that. Uh, not ramble on more than five minutes. But anyways, I'm going to uh, talk about a couple of things here. Um, obviously, I've sent off your information to Nautica and to the Agora. Hooked you guys up with that. Hopefully, everything will pick back up in a few weeks. Hopefully not several months, but um, this is out of our hands, and uh, we just have to kind of roll with the punches. Um, a very strange and kind of uh, new world we live in. So you hear my crows calling outside my window. Anyways, uh, look me up on Facebook, uh, www.facebook.com forward slash Marky dot Ray. Uh, and friend me there, and you can follow some other stuff I tend to do. Uh, anyways, one of the things I talked about earlier, I don't know if I'd shown you guys this. Hopefully you can see this. I guess it's backwards because I'm filming backwards. But this is Backstage Handbook. It is a uh, an illustrated almanac of technical information. It is by Ron Carter. Uh, I highly recommend this book. Uh, it has a lot of different kinds of things you can use. Uh, pictures of all sorts of instruments and implements. Um, backstage lingo, um, shop math, conversion tables. Uh, this guy took the trouble of going through all of the implements that we might use for carpentry and whatnot when doing a theater show, different kinds of bracing and uh, hinges and whatnot. So you kind of get the idea. But this is, uh, it also has important knots and things we use for rigging. But this is the kind of thing you would use for studying. I know I gave you guys a couple of these in the early uh, itinerary, but uh, or the early uh, itinerary, the early syllabus. But uh, this has all sorts of chemical um, uh, uh, chemical components in it, as well as different kinds of lighting and things we really didn't get a chance to even barely scratch the surface of during the semester. But once again, it's called the Backstage Handbook. It's by Ron Carter. And um, it came out in uh, about 1994, and it's been in and out of print. You might find it, hopefully, on, online. It's been reprinted a couple of times. Uh, the other thing I wanted to point out to you is, uh, once again, Tom Dowd, The Language of Music. Once again, it's backwards. But uh, anyways, this is a great documentary. I sent you a couple of clips from this. See if you can find it on Netflix. Um, this Tom Dowd was uh, an amazing. Um, if you if I didn't send you a Wikipedia link, Tom Dowd was a really incredible um, producer. Leonard Skinner, Eric Clapton. He produced uh, the uh, Derek and the Dominoes record. Um, a fascinating guy. He also worked on the Manhattan Project, uh, which helped give us the atomic bomb. Fast, and he did that as a teenager at Columbia University. Um, another DVD I'd like you guys to maybe check out if you get a chance is called Gimme Danger. It's by the Stooges. I know you can't really see that very well, but because uh, it's backwards. But "Gimme Danger" by the Stooges. It's about the Stooges, the uh, Iggy Pop band from the 1960s. Really hilarious and uh, it told from Iggy and a number of other people from the group. Really funny. Uh, another one is "Danny Says" and Danny Says. Um, Danny. Uh, this is about Danny Sugarman. He helped sign the Doors. He signed the Stooges. He worked at Electra Records. He was part of the punk movement. This, this is a really great documentary as well. Please check this out. Another one you might want to get your hands on is Monterey Pop. Um, this is the first rock festival of the 1960s. Well, the first commercial rock uh, festival in the 1960s. This is the famous one where you see Jimi Hendrix burn his guitar on, but I highly recommend this. Um, remember, as I told you, I read a lot of rock. I read a lot of books. Um, as you can kind of see behind me, there's books and various posters. Uh, but uh, this is a book called The Recording Studio Handbook. It's by uh, John M. Warram. That is W-O-R-A-M. I know you. It's backwards once again. But uh, anyways, this is a really cool book. It has all sorts of information uh, about 
uh, different speakers, reverberation, echo chambers, building your own kind of stuff. Uh, you know, explains all everything about magnetic tape and how analog recordings work, you know, which is really great. Um, it has all sorts of great things about EQing. And even though this is a vintage book, it's kind of neat. Uh, you might be able to find it in the library. And the last one is a textbook called Audio in Media. Uh, this came out in, geez, probably the early 1980s, but it has every kind of really neat microphone in it. I bought this off of eBay, believe it or not, for like 45 bucks. But this is actually a textbook. This is what they used to use in school. So um, if for those of you who've taken Kevin Barrowman's class, it's right up your alley. Um, has all sorts of uh, tips on production and whatnot. So anyways, um, this is just a test. So uh, I will get back to you guys as soon as possible. Uh, with stuff, but uh, when if you get this or should you get this, please uh, send me a thumbs up text saying, "Hey, I got this, Marky." Um, so this will be one of our forms of communication for the next few weeks while we continue to hold class and move forward. Okay, I hope you guys are well. I miss you. You're all in my thoughts and prayers. Be well.